Webster's defines tailgating as driving too closely behind a vehicle. But the term is more affectionately used by sports fans to describe the pregame party before any and every sporting event. That, of course, includes college football, where every Saturday, hundreds of thousands of football fans gather to get the games underway. So which tailgates are the best? And once inside the stadium, what's the best place to be? We've got answers to both questions with a couple top five lists coming courtesy of Sports Illustrated on campus writer Matt Waxman and John Largent of the American Tailgaters Association. And Woody's very happy over there. Uh, one thing I know Woody definitely had to have done when he was at Tennessee is tailgate. We want to get to the tailgates, and for that we bring in actually John Largent. John, give me your top five tailgates in college Absolutely. football. Absolutely, you bet. Our, our top five coming in at number five is the University of Louisville. They've got a brand new stadium. They also have refurbished um, train uh, carts that also uh, double as rail gating. So that's a real unique aspect of uh, tailgating at uh, Louisville. Number four, Texas A&M, as Matt made allude to, uh, or alluded to, uh, a sea of 55, 60,000 people before the game. Uh, family is a great tradition, uh, loud stadium, perfect atmosphere for tailgating. Coming in at number three is Penn State University the largest active alumni association in America. They decorate the whole place. Happy Valley is named that for a reason. It's absolutely a fantastic atmosphere. It's a picturesque environment, and uh, the, the game day atmosphere surpasses none. Number two, Woody, I'm sorry, but they're number two. The University of Tennessee didn't quite crack number one, but I tell you what, uh, going there for Rocky Top. I'm actually going to be there this weekend. I think so much of it. It's going to be a great electric atmosphere. The whole state gets behind the Vols. And from a tailgate standpoint, they got the best barbecue fried chicken and blackberry cobbler in the world. <laughs> and the number one tailgate. Oh, your props. That's beautiful. I got a prop. The world's largest cocktail party. <laughs> University of Florida versus the University of Georgia. The first weekend in November every year in Jacksonville, Florida, this is tailgating's mecca for college football. <laughs> Why? Because the rivalry goes back to 1915. They've been playing the game in Jacksonville since 1933. They're rival states. They're rivals in the SEC. The winner gets to go out on Jacksonville landing after the game and rub it in on the losers of the game. It is just an electric atmosphere by land, by sea, by air. This game, the world's largest cocktail party, Georgia and Florida, it's got it all. And by your estimation, is that actually the world's largest outdoor cocktail party? Well, I've been to a few cocktail parties. It's the largest one I've been to, so I would have to agree with that. Fair enough. I'm going to have you guys switch spots now. John, quickly, tell me your best place to watch a game, your number one. Well, being here in Texas, I have to say my favorite place to watch a game is in Austin at the University of Texas. Uh, it's a great uh, tradition going back to Dane X Bible back in the uh, Daryl Royal days. It's just electric, Earl Campbell. It is so much history there, and I'm a native Texan, and so I have to say the University of Texas is my absolute favorite place to attend a football game. Matt, what about you, your favorite tailgate spot? For my money, I'm going to have to go with LSU, just the... Uh... Cajun infused scene you're getting instead of burgers and dogs you're getting crawfish you're getting pig roast and you have 12 hours before the game just to get ready it's just perfect Matt and John thanks a lot for the insight we appreciate it people that are looking for games to go to now have maybe five more on their list we continue to get you pumped for the college football season tomorrow we've got the top five games to watch this year and the top five games to watch every year coming up on